Kia ora tautou and welcome to the virtual launch of High Wire, a book by Lloyd-Jones and Ewan McLeod. I'm Nicola Leggett, the publisher at Massey University Press, and this is our first ever virtual launch, necessitated by our Level 2 life, which means we can't all get together in a bookshop as we normally would do to toast the book's good fortune. This book is the first in a series of what the series editor, Lloyd-Jones, is calling Storybooks for Adults. It's a great innovation, an idea of Lloyd's, and we're very proud to partner with him in publishing them, probably two of them a year. Lloyd's text is absolutely enchanting. You'll want to read it again and again, and Ewan McLeod's illustrations offset it absolutely beautifully. The book is an example of the kind of collaboration you, uh, Lloyd hopes to see throughout the series between artists and writers, which is a first for New Zealand publishing. So we're enormously proud to be the publisher. We're thrilled to be able to uh, join with you tonight in celebrating it. And now, would you please stand by to listen to Lloyd Jones reading from High Wire. And thank you very much for being with us and for your support. Kia ora. Over that winter that McLeod and I wrote to each other, I had the strongest sense that he was drawing his way towards me back to his homeland and birthplace. The shoulders of the figures slope peacefully forward, at times purposeful, at moments haggard in their deportment. And I wondered if an idle moment slumped in his hammock at the back of his house off Parramatta Road in Sydney, he had summoned me on my own bridge building, a lone and spectral figure leaning into his work and paving his own way with words. This brushstroke, and that very deliberate one, the struts and wires of his imagination. What is it to paint your way back or across? Hey there, I'm, my name's Ewan McLeod and I'm here for the virtual la launch of High Wire. Bit sad that it's um, happening in my studio rather than Unity Books, where I'd much rather be, and Wellington, which I'd much rather be, but we've got to make the best of it. Um, it's kind of lovely to see this connection that's happening between Australia and New Zealand, and luck two lucky countries by the sounds of it. Um, I think it's fantastic the book is finally being released after all the problems that it's been through, and I think it's incredibly appropriate for the times the, this connection between Australia and New Zealand and the, and the sense of needing to stay connected, stay safe, concentrate on where you're standing, where you're going. Um, I'd really love to thank a couple of people, especially Lloyd, who was a fabulous guy to work with on the project and incredibly inspiring and pushed me into all sorts of, uh, all sorts of areas. I think the collaboration worked incredibly well um, and you can tell from the book yourself. Um, Gary Stewart was brilliant as well. He was the designer and he brought the whole thing together. He kept the two of us balanced and he's kept the text and the drawings balanced in the book. Um, beautiful. And Nicola Leggett, who got the whole show going, got, the, um, got behind the project and has got behind the, the books that are potentially going to come after our one. So thank you guys and Massey University Press. I think it's a wonderful book. I think it's really worth checking it out and I'm hoping you're going to buy it. As a child, to get to the swimming pool, I had to cross the railway tracks. A bridge conveyed me to that chlorinated heaven. First, the gentle ascent to where, briefly, I hovered high above the train tracks and the suburban rooftops. A bridge is an adult form, and so I felt part of an adult endeavour, and however briefly, enjoyed a confidence inspired by the genius who had found a way for the road and the footpath to throw me up in the air before gathering me safely on the other side. And when I looked back where I had come from, I saw the shape of my desire rising and falling after me.